we are focusing on uh, and is on our radar today is Orbindo Pharma. Now, the stock is uh, down and under pressure after the US FDA issues observations on its unit. Ekta Batra is right here to tell us more about it. Ekta. Thanks for that. Well, yes, Aurobindo is in focus uh, because their Ugia Farm, uh, Ugia Specialities Unit 3 has received uh, nine observations from the USFT in an inspection which ended on the 2nd of Feb. Now, the details of these observations have become public and the street is a bit concerned in terms of what could happen to this particular facility going forward based on these observations. Now, most of these observations are related to aseptic process, documentation, hygiene issues have been pointed out. It's a 26-page uh, Form 43 with three inspectors having inspected the, uh, the plant and many of the observations have subdivisions in terms of the details of the observations. So it's quite a detailed uh, Form 43 which has been issued. Now the street already had a whiff of it and the company did clarify on a lot of issues with regards to it. So I'll just take you through one, the importance. It's 40% of total uh, sales of the UGA business, which is basically the specialty and the injectables business. They are going to be submitting a response on the UGA 3 unit by 26th of Feb. As a cautionary step, they've already stopped manufacturing of uh, at the UGA 3 site. They expect the non-aseptic line to initiate in a few uh, weeks and then, uh, you know, the other lines to probably in a month. They could see an impact of $20 million in Q4 due to UGA 3. The company was not expecting major approvals in FY25-26 from this particular facility. And um, overall, the company is still confident of maintaining their 20% guidance. They uh, are probably going to see you know, growth mainly from Revlimid Generic when you talk about UGA. They have 20, 35 to $40 million in terms of sales estimated in terms of new launches from FY25, FY26. And 50% is expected to come from UGA Unit 3. Now, the street is not convinced, as you can see with the stock. Uh, Ilara said that, you know, if in case there is an import alert, which is the worst case scenario, then there could have been a 50, there could be a 15% impact on the consolidated EBITDA plus uh, EBITDA on their estimates. Now, remember that the stock has corrected 16% itself from the day the news came out or there was a whiff of the news. And uh, the FY25 PE is now down to around 14 to 15 times versus 17 times. We'll wait by to see what the response is by Aurobindo and what the, uh, you know, the detail will be from the US FDA. Within three months, they'll have to classify the plant. And hence, the next couple of weeks and maybe, a, you know, a, uh, the next two months odd would be very critical for this facility. All right, Ekta, thanks a lot for taking us through all of those details. That is Aurobindo Pharma still down around 3.8% in trade right now. But we are going to get into a short break.